Hello, everybody. We are in San Francisco at Founder World. Joining me in the studio today is Chinoa, the Managing Director for Blue Startups. Welcome. Thank you. So let's start with the fact that you are Managing Director of a VC in Hawaii. Yes, so, I know. It's tough. It, it's, it's awesome. Really tough. It's, it's, it's actually tough. sounds like a dream job. It, it kind of is. Yeah. yeah. We call it Startup Paradise yeah. in Hawaii, and um, we're, we're lucky to live there, and we're lucky to be able to do this work with exciting tech companies there. So can you talk a little bit about the Hawaii tech scene? Yeah. So. I would describe it as burgeoning, right? It is a smaller scene, but it's very vibrant and growing. So it's uh, it's an exciting time for us. Very yeah. cool. And so, what's the investment thesis of your guys' fund? So, um, Blue Startups does a couple different things. Obviously, we invest in local companies yep. that we think have strong technology and a good foundation for success. And then we also invest in companies in a few different areas that we focus on outside of Hawaii. So, connections to Asia. Uh, we do have strong connections there. We look at companies from the U.S. that are trying to get into Asia or companies from Asia that are trying to enter the U.S. market. That's one sweet spot for us. The other is really in travel technology since we have right. a huge Sense, travel industry. Yes. We can access very high level executives there in the travel space. So playing on your natural strengths in location and, yep. and economy. Yep. And so do you guys have a certain stage that you like to invest in? It's very early stage, although we do take in companies at multiple stages. Our Hawaii-based companies tend to be earlier. So most of the companies we bring in tend to be a little later stage, um, post-revenue, early traction, that sort of thing. And what does like, the life cycle funding look like in Hawaii? Do they then yeah. have to go somewhere else to get the later stage? Yeah, um, oh. so we have a very robust um, accelerator, pre-seed, and seed market there. So we can get a company all the way from idea, essentially, through uh, almost to Series A. Right. But once they get the, the Series B, generally speaking, they have to look outside for funding. Yeah. But we're working on that. And yeah. hopefully, you know, eventually, we'll be able to fund companies all the way through their life cycle. That's cool. Yeah. And so, does that do you find that helps keep people like the, the, that? You have this investment arm in Hawaii that helps keep people on the island. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, and I think that we can give our entrepreneurs the best possible start in life right now in Hawaii. We can surround them with amazing mentors. We can give them funding. We can give them all, everything that they need for success right now. Right. So it's a very robust ecosystem in, at that stage. Right. It's the later stages that things get a little bit tougher, but yep. you know that's where you know Silicon Valley is a specialist at that. So right. yeah. it's hard to compete with that, and we shouldn't really try. Yeah, well, that makes sense. Yeah, that's very cool. So we're at Founder World. There's yep. thousands of people kind of walking around. Yep. Um, what attracted you to this event? Um, well, I thought it was really interesting that it was going to be free. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Um, who's going to show up for that? How many people are going to be here? There's a lot of people here, so I've had a chance to interact with a lot of folks. I like the focus on founders. You know, that's really cool. I think they did a poll of the audience earlier today, and you know, who has a startup out there? And it was like everybody. Yeah. So that's really neat that that's, that's the majority of the folks here that are actually starting a company. They're really eager to talk to you about what they're working on. A lot of good ideas, a lot of really interesting companies. Yeah. yeah. Have you had a chance to walk around the floor and see any I of the have. others? I walked around, I talked to a lot of these guys. Yeah. Um, some really great things going on out there. Is there anything particular that kind of stuck out to you? That stuck out to me, that's uh, interesting. I just uh, actually was talking to a company in the mentorship session called Grow X, I believe it was called. Okay. They have an indoor growing facility for, for tomatoes. <laughs> no, I thought you were going with that. <laughs> I thought we were going to go to Colorado. Yeah, yeah. yeah. obviously. Yeah. It, there's other applications for it. But they're showing me their, their pictures, and I'm like, tomatoes, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything else that could that's possibly right. be grown in there? It's, you know, beans, tomatoes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. that's really cool. Very, uh, you know, energy efficient and, and that sort of thing. So that's interesting. That's cool. Yeah. You and know. you were on stage today speaking? I was. And so what was the yeah. message you were getting across? So we were talking about trends in early stage seed investing, kind of where we see the market headed. Um, I think a couple trends came out of that discussion. One, the internationalization, you know, of the market. So, and obviously with our east-west kind of orientation, we think about that a lot, and we are interacting a lot with folks that are from other countries, either as investors or entrepreneurs, uh, primarily the Asian countries. So I think that's a trend that's very interesting and. You have a few seed stage funders like 500 startups and them that are really looking at it, a very 
you know, um, international kind of play, and I think we'll see more and more of that. Right. You know, um, I read a great, great quote this morning, which was that Silicon Valley is no longer a geography, it's an attitude, right. and that can be exported, you know, and that that attitude and that um, kind of ecosystem that's being developed here, that this is the home of, is now being exported around the world, and you see different startup communities really take hold of that and make it their own. Uh, you see that in Honolulu, too. Very cool. Yeah. So if you had to give some advice to the aspiring founders, what would it be? Um, work on your monetization strategy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very VC answer. Sorry. That's good. <laughs> Just, we're still really, uh, we struggle with that, I think, <laughs> as, as a culture here in the startup world. You right. know, everybody wants to talk about the product. That's what I heard today a yeah. lot, over and over and over. The yeah. product, the product, the product. How are you going to make money? That age old question. It never really goes away. It never does. Probably <laughs> never will. I hope so. Oh, that's right. We're in trouble if it does. That's right. Yeah. And I guess my last question would be do you have a favorite Google technology? A Google technology? Yes. Uh, gosh, I use everything all Google all the time, so how do I <laughs> narrow it down? Uh, I don't want to be boring, but I guess Gmail. <laughs> you would be surprised how many Gmail answers. It's been Gmail, Sheets, uh, and maps have been probably the most popular answer I've been getting yeah, at this event. I mean, Gmail kind of does it all for me. This is it. It kind of comes to the whole ubiquity of you know running your life. It it's does, the... and now that I have all these apps playing on top of that Gmail layer that do every little thing that I that I need done, right. you know, like um, schedule once. That's my favorite. Yep. That runs on top of my Gmail scheduling. It probably saves me ten hours a week yeah. easily. Like it's, it's genius. I love it. <laughs> it's kind of like the unsexy ideas that you're going to really get there. It's all about efficiency. That's right. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you very much for joining us. All right. And thank you guys for joining me. We are at Founder World in San Francisco.